in the design cache you find the care linear that's gonna be the main part we are using now construct the circuit as shown in the figure first of all you need now give the simulation setting as shown that's the green one is the input and blue and red as the output blue is CT the center tape you will see that the 180 degree phase difference you have to coupling give as the K linear coupling equals to 1 here If you double click the K linear circuit, you will find the a property editor. In the property editor, you change the L1, L2, and L3 to L1 should be connected to the L3, and L2 will be connected to L4 and L3 to L5. That's you have to change when by double clicking the property editor. Once you click the K linear, you will find it. This is how the circuit uh, output waveform. Now you will see that uh, the K linear will you find in a design cache and the input you have to give at the V of 0 amplitude 100 and frequency of 60. Just add the, the linear inductor and uh, you give the K linear coupling factor 0.99. You will get that circuit output. This is just the uh, uh, input and the output will be the 180 degree difference as we are taking input in between the center tape. If we take from the other end, it will be the only the opposite, not the half. Now in this part of the lab we are gonna do it as a we are gonna add the K break. We you find the K break also in the design cache. So select the K break and the K break uh, replaced by the K coupling, K linear. So the K break will be also used as a to form a non-linear transformer. This means that there will be the coupling and will be not as before you have to use the coupling as point 99 now double click on the K break this will be the half of the primary inductor Make sure it looks like that now. You select the K break. You have to select the K. Uh, in in that uh, edit the property as we did in before. It's your property editor. Now change the L1, L3, L2, L4 and L3, L5. This we have also done in the lab but I have not shown it. If not shown just right click and go in property editor. Now just you have to run the simulation of this. Make a new simulation file. Now we have to find the uh, change the runtime. In the before lab, we have used the runtime as a 50 mm, 2.1 micro, 1 millimeter. Sorry. 
now just run the simulation you will see the difference let's add the traces the VT will be the center tape voltage V in and V out V input V output this is the V input 5 center tape that's not linear that's what the main objective so if we use the K break and he use the point 99 coupling that's gonna be the output 